Hello everyone, this is the final edit, and this is the original picture. Let me show you how I made these changes using Adobe Lightroom CC mobile app. What we're going to do today is just figure out how we can make this picture better. I took it in uh, Japan when I was there teaching a photo workshop last month. And the first thing that probably everyone sees right off is there's a few things that are distracting. Obviously, uh, this man's head has to go. And what about these people over here? We see a, a man slurping on his noodles and another man in the far distance. These are really distracting. So what we're going to do in Lightroom CC mobile app is go down to crop and crop is at the bottom. And in crop, we simply just uh, obviously move the crop tool anywhere we want. Now, if you find that when you're cropping that you're getting a strange situation where you uh, can't control the crop, it's because down here, if you can see the word free, all I have to do is tap unlocked. So make sure this is free. It, if it's locked, make sure you unlock it, okay? So let's get rid of the distracting elements on the side. We don't need that sign. We don't need the people. Now, obviously we have a person's head at the bottom, so we're gonna crop him out. Now, you could argue, well, why don't you just clone stamp him out or heal? Well, in street photography, I have a personal self-imposed ethic where I don't erase or delete anything of the picture. What I see is what I get, and those are my own personal ethics. Of course, you may have different ethics of your own, and that's great. For me, I don't erase, so I do allow myself to crop, though. I crop all the time. So I'm going to crop out that man's head. Now, what about the right? Do you see something that may be a little bit visually distracting? Yes, the blue reflections are a little bit distracting. So what I would do is I'd just get rid of them. Let's get rid of those reflections. And they are from glass, I think. So let's accept this crop. Take a look at the bottom right. There's a little check mark. And I'm going to tap on the check mark. And now the crop is accepted. So this is pretty good. In fact, we could just leave it alone like this. Some people would want to go a little bit further. So I'm going to say that I'm sort of on the fence with this. I can leave the crop as is. Or for those who really want less distraction, I would crop just outside, or sorry, inside these vertical white strips. So let's see what this looks like. In fact, I'm going to raise the crop just a bit to make it nice and clean looking. Now, what do you think? Take a look at the top right. So up here, I think we need to do a little bit better cropping just to get rid of that little white spot. Okay, let's accept, and that's pretty good. So I like it a lot. What do we do next? Well, in street photography, I like to increase the exposure just a little bit. So we go down at the bottom where we have light. So let's click on light, exposure up just a touch, but then I scroll down, I go to blacks. I'm gonna reduce the blacks. And I almost always reduce the blacks. And that just provides a little bit more drama, especially in the areas that, uh, of course, are supposed to be black, like his hair and a bit of his clothes and the soy sauce bottle. Okay, so I'm liking that. Now, if I was to send this to a magazine, if I was doing this for a photo shoot, I would probably just leave it as is, as I really like it. However, if I'm, just, if I'm gonna send this to social media, I would probably add a little bit of a, a filter effect. Now, if we go to profiles, which is at the bottom, I'm going to get you to tap on profiles. And then, sorry, I'll back up. If you can see favorites and there's a little arrow, tap on the arrow and you have Adobe Raw camera matching artistic black and white modern vintage. Let's just click on modern. And what we do is we simply tap through and pick any one of these profiles that really looks good to us. And of course, it's all subjective. I might choose modern eight, so I'm gonna accept that. And I feel it's a little on the warm side. Maybe it's fine, but let's just go to color. What would happen if we made it a bit more blue? Eh, maybe it was okay the way it is. Okay, so let's just keep it the way it is and we'll just reduce this down and we are good to go. Now there's a couple ways to export for social media and we just click uh, this arrow up here at the very top and we can go to open in small 2048 and then we can open it in 
Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. What I like to do myself actually is send it to my camera roll. Now, if you're using an Android device, it'll be a little bit different, but for iOS users, save to camera roll, small, and one photo successfully saved to album. Okay, good. I really hope you got a lot out of that editing session. I love sharing my information on editing photos. And if you'd like to learn in real time with me during a photo workshop, check out www.markhemmings.com and click on the Greece Photography Workshop. I would love to see you in Athens and Tolos, Greece, so we can learn photography together.